Alright, I have never seen this sign on before. I've only been here a few days, but this has never been on. It may be because it's the weekend? Extreme fire activity in Idaho City. Road service closure in effect. It's just flashing between those messages about how roads are closed. Um, that's... That wasn't on, and we've had three fires, north, west, and south of here. And I've never seen that sign on. It only faces one direction, too. So they're really focusing on the northern areas. Is this your property? Yeah. What's your name? My name is Tim Sealander. Okay. You also have a fire going. No fires allowed. You had one I saw in the video, man. We got fires right up eight miles up the road. No. All right, well, if you're angry enough, I'll take off. All right, well, this place isn't friendly to camp. Not as friendly as I expected, so... I had some guy come by and tell me to get out, get out of here. Private property. So, don't be coming back here. Yeah, I should, should realize anywhere you go in America, it's about private property, stay off of it type of thing. But uh, there's a lot of forest land, but uh, I mean, this Idaho forest, once again, it's like, there's, it's not, it's not a park, so you're not exactly like free to go anywhere in the Idaho uh, National Forest. You could actually... Uh, in, you could actually stumble upon somebody's private property in the Idaho National Forest. Really, I think they should have to go more out of their way to make it clear that that's private property within the National Forest because, I mean, you, you get the impression as, a, as like a tourist, as an outsider, uh, that everywhere is pretty much fair game where you could you could explore and check out but now you get jerks like this guy who uh, pull rank on you like that tell you to get off their private property so I got I got this other spot I looked at uh, it looks like they got quite a bit of traffic around I'll try for a night I'll stay for a night it's just a little bit further down a little bit more inconvenient. A little bit harder on the shocks. Yeah, there's a car already. So they're gonna see me park inside here and yeah, they'll, they'll call the cops. They're probably locals. Ah, see how this works out. I don't know if they can be seen. Yeah, the light's a little tough. But I think I've seen those people up and down this road. I gotta see if I'm uh, parked off the road. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, that looks like it's off the road. All right, so they got a fence on the other side of uh, the swamp, in case anybody wanders over there. So I'm guessing this is part of the forest land right here. It's kind of nice. All right, so this place has got uh, some kind of <coughs> restriction for <coughs> vehicle access. But I see that there's people who live beyond this spot. Man, this Idaho forest is, this Idaho National Forest is so weird. Camping limit 10 days. Okay. Off highway vehicles. Off highway vehicles on existing. So, I guess, I guess this is... Oh, no, I just see there's somebody driving a vehicle. Uh -oh. No, there's people driving vehicles.
I guess that's a nice camp spot. So this is where I would camp. I guess I could park right over there or even even park oh no that looks like it's part of a trail <laughs> just what I need is to accidentally park on a trail so uh, I was on this trail earlier some guy yelled out from a heck of a distance he's like yeah hey beat it and they just kept telling me to keep moving along and all that. So it's, it's kind of comical to listen to. I yelled nothing back because I didn't. I didn't really want to get in it with those guys, like four or five of them. I want to learn where this trail goes, get familiar with it before I start fights. So it's clear that they're doing uh, like specialty cutting for trees or cutting in between you don't see that in Washington <laughs> they just they clear cut in in sections they're a little more careful around here with all these stumps in between you gotta be with uh, this type of climate and environment so over there is the intersection for 304 I came from there, um, and it turns into, oh, I'm going uphill still, it turns into 341, and this has been quite a climb, if I have to go back the same way I came, it would just be a downhill um, ride. Alright, so I guess I'm making a quick stop for uh, service berries, these little service berries are, they're supposed to be June time. Hmm. That's a. I remember the seed being more white, but maybe I was eating them a little early. Well, these definitely look like service berries. Taste like them. All right, so I'm at uh, 347 and 389, and it'd be. I don't know if I can. Wait. Mm. There we go. Uh, kind of marked it there. I want to stay on 347 and then it'll get me back it'll kind of get me back into the city uh, there's there's like a walking trail I see on the other map that I could take from 347 hopefully it's uh, very hopefully it's visible enough I had a like a suburban wide vehicle well I think over 50 inches wide uh, past me I asked them where the uh, trail to Ida Soho City was and some lady driver she said it was quite a ways down here yeah it looks ways on it looks pretty far on the map too but uh, yeah I think it's oh man my brake is broken I need both hands now this thing is just too too loose Okay, well, after exploring this area, I definitely would not bring my bicycle or bring my car up here to camp. The trail is just too dangerous. It's hard for me to tell if this environment is man made or natural. There's a lot of mounds. And I have dirt. I got a dirt bike trail I'm following. I'm a little lost. So. I decided to take this dirt bike trail. I hear, I hear the same music that I heard in town yesterday, and I'm kind of going in the direction and kind of not. I don't know if it is the same. Wow. Either way. Oh, uh, there's a building off in the distance. 
Man, I'm just not sure where to go. So I'm in a what they call a gulch where there would normally be water and a flood, but only during floods. Water just kind of flows in here. Uh, I'm not sure where it leads exactly. Hopefully into town. Let me just say too that I hear the music still playing. They, play, they like to play music in the evening really loud. So it just makes for a good uh, echo location. Uh, like tool. Since I can't really see much down here. It's getting darker. I got a little flashlight but the battery's kind of weak. I believe this gulch has a name too, but it escapes me. There's a unique flower. I've never really seen. There's, there's that one, and I think I recorded this one before. Not sure. Not sure what they are exactly. I think I'd have to hit the highway at some point if I overshoot the town then at the very least I should be going in the right direction for well just a road in general I suppose but it is quite a distance I think walking is going to take a long time I think this gulch is taking me the wrong way there's this uh, there's this cable in the gulch too Oh, this gulch. I think it's. Yeah, now my pedal. See, this is a problem. I've been going. I've been getting a lot of hookups on my bicycle, which has really slowed down my my progress. You now this cable is pretty interesting. It's really long. I mean, I traveled a very long distance, but this this cable seems pretty long for a cable keeps hooking up my bicycle oh and then I stop and mosquitoes are on me I fell from that steep ledge now I'm at some water challenge not exactly sure where I'm at but got across the river or the little creek should be smooth sailing from here all right so in hindsight I probably uh, turned too soon. I, I took maybe a, a dirt bike trail and uh, I should have probably gone down further to get the right trail, 691 or something. Uh, I had to go through the woods and I've come up short of the town. So, so the trail must have been further down. I could probably try to find it uh, from town because it goes into town um, Let's take a Another day to do that. I got plenty of time here. All right, it's gonna be evening time. It's after 10 or close to 10 I gotta say this area does seem like it is 10 degrees cooler Than in the Boise area, especially at night Something is pulling the temperature down more dramatically around here then in the Boise uh, area and it's such a relief really enjoy that I appreciate it um, you know another observation is that I have not noticed any coyotes I expected to hear coyotes but not a single sound so this their environment is not their best uh, interest. Even though there are coyote in Wisconsin and Washington and I believe Oregon, I forget. I know I've heard of them in Washington and Wisconsin. And that's a pretty broad stretch right there.